Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make this medieval blacksmith house. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, and without any further ado, let's get right into this. Alright, so here is the floor layout, let's start with this. So we're going to be starting off, as always, with the framing. We're going to take some oak logs, we're going to build them up four blocks tall. All the logs here are going to be four blocks. So we're going to go back four blocks, and back another four, go back two. We're then going to move to going over two, over four, over four, forwards four, back to over four, over two, forwards two, and for the last pillar, forwards four. Our next step will be placing in the walls. We're going to start with this front one here, which will be have a window in the middle, just like so. Then let's go along with this wall. Also a window. Here, once again, we'll have a window. Then for this two wide wall, can have no windows, and then these next two segments will also have no windows. This segment will have a window. This segment will have a window. Then we're going to jump over to this segment which is near the first one we did and it won't have a window but we will leave an opening for a double door then all the rest of the segments will be filled in completely with cobblestone no windows no doors all right we are going to add some walls to put some definition in this courtyard area. I'm gonna start off by both of these places connecting to the building. We'll give those a wall. We'll also add a wall in the corner. These are really stone pillars, but it's the wall block. And then the last one will be right here, because we're gonna have an entrance there. Then we're just gonna fill in the rest of the areas that aren't entrances. All right, before we move on to the roof, let's add in some doors and windows. So the doors will be set on the inside part of the building. The, the windows, there's only one position they can go. Just fill in all the spaces we left for them. All right, next things next will be the roof. This we're going to start off by just a ring of stairs all around the perimeter of the building. This includes the outside area, which was left open for the blacksmithing stuff. And then next step, we will be adding a second layer that will go around the outside of the building part. And this will continue all the way to the top, so I'll just speed through it. Alright, there we go. For the last section of the roof will be this which will just fill in at this level, slightly above the first row of stairs, with slabs. Alright, once you do that, we'll also come to the inside and add another layer of slabs on the bottom, just to thicken up the roof. All right, for the area that will be for the blacksmiths, we're going to start out with the 
furnace which will go against this wall and it will consist of some stairs you can have a two block gap and it will be one back from the wall slabs in between those and on top of those then here we're going to add some furnaces i'm doing three regular furnaces and just one blast furnace just so we don't load up the village with that one kind of villager we're then going to add some stairs stone brick stairs right on top of the furnaces fill in the rest of the surrounding area with full blocks of stone brick destroying the bottom layer of the roof to fit that in next thing over here we're going to add a stone cutter one block back all the way against the fence or wall we're going to add a stone color cutter and a grindstone we're going to have a anvil right by here and finally we're going to add in some water that would be used to cool down anything all right the final thing we're going to do is add the smithing table right into the wall there just to look like a tool rack and also provide one more villager job slot in case you want to have a full village with all the things all right so let's start on the shop we're going to start by adding a table right in front of this window it's going to be just two upside down oak stairs and two oak slabs in the middle will be a little sales area this will be the counter where everything will happen behind and we're also going to add a little trap door just on the end to be the get between we're going to want to add some flower pots and we're going to put spruce and oak saplings in it i also decide to put a little lantern here light up the area nicely all right i finished up by adding some detailing to this area i added in some signs just for to have something there really these uh iron bars were meant to be like a decoration you know like a knife rack or something it didn't come off too well but it's not bad it's certainly better than nothing i also added some frames a clock just to show off the goods this is an enchanted netherite sword i put this one behind the counter because that would be like their prized possession keep people from stealing it and now let's move on to this area all right and here will be the bedroom pretty simple all things considered a few beds i got a table this it's just like the one we made outside except curved a little bit this nightstand is just a slab and i have a banner here it, pretty simple design but i thought some design is better than just a blue banner and that's pretty much it that is the building finished here's a quick walk through a look at the area where we'll do our work and just as the sun is setting so i didn't take too much time that means there's our final product if you enjoyed please like and subscribe if you add this to your world make sure to tell me in the comments below i'd love to hear about it and have a great day i'll see you next time goodbye